Are you excited to start using the new Instagram automations? When I first got started in chat marketing, my first love was with the comment growth tool feature. I knew the first time I saw this thing back in action in early 2016, it would be a game changer. And man, was I right. For the Facebook's Messenger platform, the comment to message trigger has helped so many business dominate and grow their user base. So now I'm even more excited to rekindle this love with the Instagram version of that feature. Now with Instagram comment automation, you can automatically send a direct message to users who comment on specific posts on your Instagram grid or in the Instagram timeline. Setting this up is super easy and I will show you how to get it done with the help of ManyChat. But first, if this is not your first time watching one of my videos and you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and trust that I got your back when it comes to chat marketing tutorials. Okay, BotShots, the first step to use this feature is to sign up for ManyChat and connect your Instagram account. Remember that not everyone has full access to these features and to the Instagram automations just yet. So check out the description of this video to see a timeline for when you can expect to gain access as well as a coupon code to get ManyChat free for 30 days. After you connect ManyChat to your Instagram account, setting up the comment to message automation is simple. Let's jump into ManyChat and let me show you how to get it done. All right, from your ManyChat dashboard, go over to the automations icon and click on flows. And then in the upper right hand corner, you're going to go to new flow, select empty flow and name your flow. Now, once you get in here, you will have a starting step and you will have your Instagram message. Now, instead of Instagram, if you see something else like say a Facebook message that looks like this, then all you have to do is take this little step right here and bring it up to an empty spot, let go and select Instagram message. And this will pop up here. Now I already have one created, so I'm going to show you that one. So here's the Instagram automation that I created for my comment to message automation. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to create a message that is going to be the opt-in message. This is the very first message that someone will receive when you use the Instagram comments trigger. The way it's going to work is you can't do any kind of action or conditions here. It has to go straight to this automation. Once you have this automation, you're going to have a quick reply that says getting started or sure or whatever it is, then that's going to open up that conversation and we can go into whatever it is that we want to go into. So in this example, I have the trigger Instagram comments, which I'll show you in a moment how to set up. I have the message that says, thank you for taking Instagram automation for a test drive. Click below to get access to my totally awesome chat marketing course with that quick reply. And then that goes to this next message that says woot woot to get access to my course, just go to this link right here and enjoy. Now it's important to note that the only way to direct people to external websites is through URLs and you can't use buttons like you would in a messenger bot build. All right, so let me show you how I built this out. So in our automation flow here, we are going to go to add a trigger and we're going to go to Instagram. We're going to go to Instagram comments and you'll see it'll be right there. Now we'll set this up in a little bit, but first let's create our steps. So the first step is that opt-in message. And then we're going to add a quick reply. Go ahead and just type in what you want them to do. I also really love to use emojis in my button. So I'm going to do that here. So it looks just like that. Get started. Now, what do you want to happen once someone clicks on a get started? You're going to want to do a send message. And as you can see, it's an Instagram message that we're going to send. And this is the message where we're going to send whatever it is that we've promised in our post. So let's say they were asking about a new course 
and you say, great, thank you so much for your interest in my new course. Are you ready to get started so I can send you that info? They click get started or send it to me or what have you, and then you can go ahead and send that here. If you wanna add their first name or their full name, you could do that by clicking on this little bracket here and just select first name. It's gonna pull it from their account if it's available on their account. So if you're going to do a link, just go ahead and type the link in. You could use a link shortener. My favorite is Rebrandly to make your links look a little nicer. And I'm gonna sign off with a talk to you later. Or you could say something like, let me know if you have any other questions. So now that we have this basically set up, we have to add our tags. Our content message tags are really important. So for the basic message, Within the 24 hours, you don't have to add a tag. You just leave it blank. But for the opt-in message, we do need to add a comment reply tag. All right, so let's go ahead and go over here and we're going to set up our trigger. Now, before we can set it up, we're going to publish this flow and you can see content was published. Go over to our trigger step, click on that comment tool. And then we're going to be asked, this growth tool will work with what? Do you want a specific post or all post? I don't suggest that you do this for all posts. It can get kind of spammy. Instead, go with a specific post. So go ahead and select a post. So it's gonna bring up all of your latest posts. Now this does not work for reels on your account. I know this for a fact because all I have are reels on my account and I have posted several in the last 12 days, but this is the last one that came up, which was the last post that I had. So we'll go ahead and go with that. So now once you have that selected, you can go down here and you can exclude comments to keywords, or you can make it so it only triggers for comments for a specific keyword or leave it blank and anyone who comments will then receive a message. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a keyword. Now, once you're ready, click save and it will be activated. I would love for you to test this new feature out for yourself. Come on back and let me know how it goes down in the comment. Now, if you have questions, be sure to join my free Baby Got Bot Facebook group. I have linked the group down in the comments below. It's also right there. If you want more personalized attention, consider joining my Baby Got Mentorship Program, where I do monthly trainings, members only office hours, and give more personalized attention just to those members. You can learn more at the link in the comments and the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I will be having more and more Instagram automation videos coming soon. And while you wait, check out one of these recommended videos that are popping up on your screen right now.